Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at using the uh, web map tile service uh, with Bokeh. So let's get started. So first off though, uh, WMTS okay, is basically the most common way and the web standard for tiled map data. Okay, so maps are going to be supplied either in some sort of standard image or patches. Okay, um, and then you're going to be able to use them to zoom in and out of the data, as well as be able to have um, a large variety of places where you can map out. Um, now, another uh, common way is also to use um, uh, Google Maps or something of the such, but Google Maps uh, requires an API key, and um, however, the uh, WMTS does not. Okay, so let's go on and get started with um, a couple examples in here, and we'll call this a uh, bokeh. Uh, maps uh, 1.py um, and we'll we'll go on and just do some very small scale examples right now and then later on um, in the series we'll actually do some uh, higher level examples with um, a lot of interactivity and we'll also uh, talk about using patches later on uh, so first off let's do from bokeh.plotting we're going to import in here our standard figure and show then we also want uh, from bokeh.models uh, we're going to import in here the WMTS and again here the tile source. Uh, and then we're also going to want in here um, uh, the range for, let's do the, the US uh, and do X range comma Y range in here. And we're going to do um, this. So it's negative uh, one, three, eight. Eight four zero. I have this uh, off to the side here so that I know um, the source. Again, you can you can always look these up whenever you need to. So this is the x axis in here. Negative uh, four seven five three three zero four. We may do um, a couple others later on as well. And you know I'm going to go in and just copy this. I don't want to go and spend time wasting my eyes on it. Uh, and the next thing that we're going to want to do in here is actually create a plot. Uh, so here, whoops. Uh, here we want tools. Uh, we're going to do pan, um, a wheel zoom. Uh, and then we also want in here x range is going to be our x range. Y range is going to be our y range. Um, and then we also want x-axis type in here is going to be uh, uh, Metacor, Mercator, and then we're going to grab this one as well. I'm going to copy all of this. Uh, and why that? Now let's actually check here. Um, what we want in here. I'll move that over so we can see. Um, now we need to actually, um, again, depending on where we have the providers at, okay, so we actually need to kind of say where we want our uh, which uh, base maps uh, cartography plots that we're actually going to want and our raster tiles. Uh, so let's go on and actually create up that URL in here. And we want to go to http colon slash slash a dot base maps dot carto cdn uh, dot com here we want our raster tiles uh, dot voyager here and then here uh, we'll actually have in a place of z coordinate um, we want our x coordinate and then we want in here our y coordinate um, dot PNG. And so this is actually going to be grabbing um, some whatever our axis labels are, and it's going to be helping us fill in for that and actually grab the PNG from the location. Um, and let's do something like, um, uh, all right, and I'm actually going to grab an attribute, an attribution. So again, whenever you guys are using 
um, people's um, other people's APIs or anything like that, it's very nice to cite them and kind of say where you got them. Um, and this is uh, this is this attribution here is just kind of saying this is where we're going to be getting the data, how we're going to be using it. It's kind of kind of like a just giving them and saying tipping their hat and saying yep okay we're we're going to be using this. So let's do p dot add uh, tile in here and we're going to grab uh, wm our tile source, our URL is uh, is our URL, and then our attribution is our attribution. Uh, and then let's go on and actually show P. And so here you see here, now this actually gives us um, our tiled map. We can uh, move around on it. And here you can see here, um, let me zoom in here. Now it actually says tiles by Carto under, and again, you can put that in here as well. Um, I would highly suggest you guys do that to make sure that you don't have any uh, legal issues later on. Um, again, always attribute where you got your data and um, always cite your sources, okay? Um, now, another thing that we're going to uh, want to do is potentially um, grab in some other data, okay? Because again, right now, this, this is just uh, using some uh, some range data and we're just grabbing it just to grab in this uh, map of the United States, okay? We want to be able to plot things on it is actually would be our our goal, okay? So let's go on and actually do that and I will also help uh, create up a function that will, um, let's uh, create up a new one and call this um, uh, bokeh maps 02.py and we will do something like, um, let's actually grab, um, let's go back over here and I'm gonna grab all of this uh, and put that here. Uh, and you know what, do we want, da, 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 what else are we wanting? Okay, let's go on and also grab all of this. We're actually gonna just grab all of it for now and put it in there. And I want to add in a couple things. So what we want to add in here, and I'm gonna do it up top, because we want to import pandas as pd, import numpy as np, um, and then we're going to do something, we're actually going to define a new function, um, and we'll just say uh, web uh, uh, cater, and let's do, this is gonna take in some data frame, and it's gonna take in longitude, latitude in here, and we're going to have this, and what this is going to do um, is, let's just do this, is uh, convert uh, decimal longitude and latitude, okay, uh, to this uh, web mercator format. Um, and I'm probably um, butchering this, but um, please forgive me. So K here is going to be um, 6378, uh, 137. And then here we'll do DFX is equal to DF longitude uh, multiplied by R K multiplied by uh, NP pi divided by 180. Uh, and what you're doing here is, again, this is just doing a conversion. Um, and it's useful to always be able to create up these functions. I looked this up online uh, to be able to do this, but it's nice to also know uh, that you can do this as well. And I thought it's very helpful for you guys um, to kind of see it done. So then you don't go crazy um, doing this. And again, what you're doing is uh, this first one is for longitude. The second one is for latitude. Um, and we need then to multiply this bad boy by np dot pi multiplied by 360. And that should multiply by k. And then here we want to return df. Um, and here now we can actually, once we have this done, we need to grab some data. What do we want to grab in here? Um, 
All right, let's actually go on and um, let me search a couple locations real quick. Um, so let's let me pause real quick and I'll grab a couple locations. Okay, I'm back and I grabbed a couple um, <clears throat> locations. So I grabbed Dallas, Chicago, New York City, and Los Angeles. Um, and I'm doing this based off of their... need to fix that. Um, based off of uh, their, uh, their airport locations. Um, you guys can go on and um, look up any locations you want, at least in the United States, that you want. Um, and um, again, we can always change this. You can change this uh, area in here to be any country in the world, I guess. Um, so let's go on and actually create a data frame with this. Um, so do PD dot uh, data frame in here, and we want our data. Uh, and then let's go on and we need to create um, our data frame itself. Um, and let me do something like uh, 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 map data frame, or just do map DF. Um, and do our web change. And then we want to do our data frame in here. And let me actually um, do something like print uh, map df dot head so that we can actually see the difference here. Let me run this. And um, my converter did not want to work. Uh, line line ten line nineteen. Um, so let's go and check and see what it didn't like to convert. So, line 10. So it didn't like this line up oh, and here. Um, it, this is log, not lawn. All right, and let me go back over here, and we'll go down. And here you can actually see um, uh, the data that we had in here, and it seems that there is a little bit of an error with our y-axis, so we need to go on and double check what's going on with our uh, uh, longitude data. Um, so here, let's let's go on and double check. So why why is the issue? So it's our latitude data is having a problem, and if we go and we look here, we had an invalid encounter for a log so something in here is actually causing problems so and my guess is the equation may be having a little bit of trouble oh and right here this is it this is supposed to be divided by all right and so then let's go back over here and now we can actually see that our longitude and latitude uh, our longitude and latitude in here has been uh, converted to decimal. Okay, so then uh, we're going to be able to actually map them out. Now we haven't mapped anything out yet. Okay, but let's. So now let's go on and take all of these and uh, map them out. I will comment out uh, looking at the head. Uh, so we want in here. Um, we have our tools, our ranges. Our axes, all of that is staying the same. Um, we have added in our tiles. Now we want to add in um, our uh, some circles on top of that. So this is this is actually kind of nice because then we can actually just uh, do this. Everything's kind of uh, normal. Um, so X and Y in here, and let's do our fill color in here to be something like. Um, um, let it stand out so fire brick um, and then we also are going to want these to be uh, relatively small so let's do size or let's make them a little bit big let's do 15 um, so it's more for the area uh, and let's take a look all right so now we see here that we have each of our four areas um, they have our nice dots we didn't do any hover tools or anything else like that but again, it's kind of nice to be able to show things out on a map. And again, we also so sh show that we can actually uh, use things from a data frame. 
And what we'll do is maybe in, in another lecture, so here's a data frame, um, in, another, uh, in another video, we'll actually go through and we'll plot out maybe a bunch of locations using some, some um, data maybe from the government website, maybe CDC or something like that. If you guys like this and found this helpful, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.